Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. This question is asking ions have equal charges but masses of m and 2m are accelerated through the same potential difference and then enter the uniform magnetic field perpendicular to their path. If the heavier ions follow a circular arc of radius r, what is the radius of the arc followed by the lighter? And let's see how we can find it. First of all, they are saying this uh, same potential difference. So let's. Uh, this is related to potential difference and kinetic energy, right? So let's uh, go ahead and find the equation for that. So kinetic energy is given by Q times V. Q is charge. V is potential difference. So but kinetic energy also, we also know that that's equal to half mv square, that is equal to qv, this cap, capital V, potential difference, this is velocity, right? So let's find the velocity, because I'm trying to find the relationship between velocity and this one, because we are going to use this force right here, f is equal to bq v sine theta. So this is the equation for magnetic field. So whenever we have force in magnetic field, we use this equation. And here this is, so whenever we have charge traveling in the magnetic field, the velocity, I mean, magnetic field is going to be perpendicular for this charge. So it's going to be 90 degree. So it's going to be sine 90 degree. That's equal to one. So this, is, this means this whole thing is going to be equal to one. So we can just keep BQV instead of sine theta because this just multiplication by one, right? It doesn't change anything. And also, when whenever we have charges traveling through magnetic field, it faces a deflection and travel in a circular path. So it's going to have centripetal force also. So F C is equal to m v square over r. M v square over r, right? So this is the centripetal equation, centripetal force equation. We need this one because we are trying to find radius right here. So the question is asking, if the heavier ions follow the circular of the radius of R, what is the radius of the lighter, right? So let's find first uh, for the heavier and then compare it with lighter, right? So we have to find the relationship between mass and the radius and how it changes. So let's go ahead and equate both. This both are going to be equal. So let's go ahead and equate both. BQV is equal to MV square over R. And then if we bring the R here, we are going to have R is equal to MV square over BQ and BQV and V and this one cancels. And we are left with M v over bq right but this is not the relationship between r and m we have to find this relationship then find the then connect with this one so here we have to uh, let's compare the velocity so velo if i take velocity this is going to be q v over this is going to be 2 q v 2 goes to the top and the mass in the bottom, since this is v square, if I want to find v, I have to square root this one, right? So this is our velocity right here, according to the energy equation. Now what we can do, we can bring the this velocity right here and compare, right? Replace this with this velocity. So here we are going to have r is equal to m b q. Instead of this velocity, we replace with this one. This is going to be 2QV over M, right? So we have square root of M in the denominator and M in the numerator. Now I can expand this M as M is equal to root M times root M. Both of them are same thing. Root M times root M and M is same thing. And we have a root M right here. And if I write it in this way, this root m and this root m cancels and we are going to have root m on top. 
So this is going to be 2 Q V M on top. In the denominator we have nothing and then we have B Q in the denominator right outside of the square root. All we need is the connection between radius and mass right. So let's write the relationship. Radius is directly proportional to square root of m from the equation we derived and here the this is let's say this is for the heavier one and lighter what is the radius for lighter and lighter you know the 2m is going to be the heavier if we take this is 2m and lighter is going to be half of that this is m right if it's 2m this is m so half of this is going to be r directly proportional to square root of m over 2 so this is going to be the uh, let's say this is initial they say this r prime r prime is going to be this value and we know that root term is going to be initial so if we replace this one we can also write this one as r prime is equal directly proportional to root m over root 2 right now if I replace this one with R0, this is going to be equal to R prime is equal to R0 over root 2. So this is going to be the relationship. So the radius for the lighter one is going to be R0, heavier one's radius divided by root 2. So here the answer that matches with this one is going to be this one right here. And that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.